Hey everyone, it's Raymond here at the UMI Performance Race Shop once again. In front of me I have a, an assortment of G-body sway bars. So UMI Performance has a pretty good array of uh, performance solutions for your G-body uh, rear axle housing. In this case, these are all rear sway bars. And we'll go over the uh, technical information about them and also show you how they attach to the car. So our baseline bar that comes with the Stage 2 kit is a one inch solid and it bolts in between the rear trailing arms. So you can see the four bolt holes here. It comes with hardware. And then as the car tries to roll, it actually resists the trailing arms moving like this. So that's, that's how it stops the, the body roll. Baseline bar, good for street cruising, a little bit of cornering, even light drag racing once in a while. Just our good general purpose, high performance rear sway bar. So we'll start here with the, the big boy. This is the drag bar, drag anti-roll bar, inch and a quarter, solid. It has three positions of adjustment, so you can change the sway bar rate. What this does is provides a tremendous amount of roll resistance on launch. So when the car tries to go like this, that keeps it from doing that. Um, if you have too much power, too big of a slick, that type of thing, and it hooks really, really hard, you can move it to the shortest hole to get even more roll resistance. So this is a, a drag bar. You'd want to use it for like a trailer drag car or a car with skinnies on the front that you're just going to cruise to the drag strip, not really do any handling with this one. This is mainly straight line stability and flatness on launch. One of our most popular bars is the one inch Pro Tour bar. So just how it sounds, one inch diameter, still three positions of adjustment. Uh, we use this for street cars and also uh, some autocross cars. If you're doing national style courses where it's long and sweeping, that type of thing, you can use the one inch Pro Tour bar. It also makes an excellent canyon carving bar. So if you're doing uh, back roads, tail of the dragon, that type of thing, uh, you can use the one inch. Pro Tour bar, and this is our best general purpose bar of the three different styles. So this one is kind of a special one. Um, we use it on cars like the UMI Green Machine. It's three quarter inch. So you would think it's too small, but what happens is it keeps the inside rear tire from lifting off the ground. So you can still get the rear roll resistance that you need without it ever lifting the, the back off the ground. So it still has three positions of adjustment, works really nice. You can use it as a street bar if you use the shortest hole, or if you don't mind a little bit of body roll, you can even use the longest hole. But basically the tunability and the rate of this bar makes it a national championship quality autocross bar. So as we mentioned, the standard one inch bar goes in between the trailing arms and is held on uh, just with four fasteners. The Pro Tour bar, the drag bar, and the autocross bar is actually held on a different way. So we'll go through that a little bit. You can see the, the three position adjustability here. And uh, in the middle of the bar, we have the flat area. So that gets a bushing like this. So the bushing is a greasable poly, like all of our products. So we can put the bushing on like that. And then the bracket goes here. Then the alligator clamp goes like this. Then of course your axle is here and then the U-bolt, uh, properly sized for your product. We have uh, two and three quarter, three and three and a quarter. Most factory G-body housings are two and three quarter, where most four nine inch, like if you have a quick performance in your car, it would use a three inch axle bracket. And uh, you put that right through there and gets the nuts and the washers and nuts on there. Good to go there. And then when you hook it to the chassis, it actually gets a, mount like this that's going to go there then this double shear bracket here goes like this and it takes two three eighths holes up through the cross member to hold that on there so when you're done it's clamped to the axle can rotate nice and freely here it swivels real nice right there this is bolted to the cross member and you're good to go you can even add preload uh, to your drag bar if you want so when you're launching you can get the car to go even straighter as you can see here at UMI Performance, we have a good number of G-body rear sway bar solutions from one inch to drag bar to pro tour to three quarter autocross bar. If you have any questions about our G-body parts, 
or anything that UMI has to offer, give us a call or email support at umiperformance.com. Clamp is going to go. There.